Welcome to Language with Liza, and we're at an early Christmas party to tackle your, your, and your. I'm taking you with me so I don't have to carry the Christmas and June presents all by myself. But you picked me up at 7 instead of 6, so I can say you're late using Y-O-U apostrophe R-E. This is a contraction with the apostrophe showing that a letter has been taken out. In this case, Y-O-U apostrophe R-E means you are. You blame your tardiness on the eggnog, but I can't excuse the fact that you didn't bring your presence. This time, your is spelled Y-O-U-R and means an adjective that shows possession. They are your presence. If I had used Y-O-U apostrophe R-E, the sentence would have read, they are, you are, presence. So, how do you tell them apart? If you're talking about something that belongs to someone, you always use Y-O-U-R. If that person is doing something, the word R is involved, then you use Y-O-U apostrophe R-E. Then why are we at a Christmas party? It's not December or even July. Judy Garland. You know, Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz? She was also famous for singing the third your, Y-O-R-E. The song is Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas, and the lyric is Happy Golden Days of Yore. This time, yore means a time long gone by. It's an ancient word from the Old English that usually only shows up at Christmas. Next time in Language with Liza, Who Killed Mr. Body?